Hey again, everyone in the VC. Uh, second video from me tonight. And uh, Derek, how you doing tonight? Hope you're doing well. Thought I would uh, make an entry for your Y Music contest. Um, so, Y Music, um, I think uh, several reasons. One main one, but from a young age, I've been uh, kind of a loner and an introvert. Uh, I was, uh, as a little bitty kid, um, you know, my my parents were there, obviously, certainly, but uh, they both worked. Um, my two brothers were uh, quite a bit older than me, so they were around. I mean, they even had to watch me when I was a little kid when my parents would be at work. But uh, they were, like I said, 13 years old and uh, 9 years old when I was born. And uh, there really weren't um, any kids in the neighborhood when I was a little bitty kid. That were around my age. Um, later on, some people moved in, and some 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 kids my age when I was somehow I was still a kid, but it was uh, I, when I was you know eight or nine or something. But when I was a little bit of kid, so I was kind of not left alone, but left to my own devices, I guess, because you've got a brother who's thirteen when you by the time I was three, sixteen, high school, car, girls, and all that. The other one by that time is. Uh, 12 or 13 or whatever so it's not like they didn't talk to me or pay any attention to me but you know when you're that age you're really not into hanging around with a three or four year old kid and they had their friends that would be over that lived uh, across the street and up the road and around the corner a cousin of mine lived right around the corner they were all in that age group so I was uh, like I said, kind of left to my own devices. So early on, I've uh, and uh, I think through life, I you know I have friends and all that. I'm not, uh, but I've always been kind of a outsider or a loner or, or never totally fit in. And so I had to make my own entertainment, I guess. And so kind of uh, retreated into myself to some degree from an early age and maybe even into now, but. Uh, so books and TV shows and movies uh, and toys when I was a little bit of a kid and music played a big part of that because uh, um, and uh, you know things that you can do to keep yourself entertained when you're a little kid and, and just grew into that and music played a big role into my life thinking about it now even up till the time when I got into music seriously uh, which you know was I, I was actually pretty pretty young I was eight or nine or so but um, so I think uh, uh, that I think uh, music I, I wish I could remember there's a Jimi Hendrix quote that I read somewhere that it it, it uh, fills your head and your stomach and your body with uh, goodness and joy or something along those lines that's not exact wording but but that's sort of because uh, I think music at its best is um, one of the greatest things there is. Uh, you know, first girl you fall in love with, your family, your dog, and all that. Sure, but I mean, other than things like that, I think it's just one of the wonderfulest things in the world. And I know that's not really a word, but and music at its worst, I guess, is one of the most awful things in the world. So I guess conversely, it works that way too um, I mean you know uh, but um, I think that um, music in a lot of ways uh, for me anyway kind of sums up uh, where there was a uh, contest recently to uh, name to uh, quote some of your favorite lyrics from several different songs and I think music sums up uh, for me a lot of times uh, who I am or how I feel in a much more concise and much stated much better than I could do myself so uh, and I've always sort of uh, uh, soundtrack my life uh, when I look back I can remember events and so forth but a lot of that is what what music was uh, playing at the time what I was listening to at the time I mean uh, um, and it's always been very important. Um, uh, girl I used to go out with, you know, sort of the songs we liked or that reminded me of her, just 
me and my buddies when we were 17, 18 or whatever out driving around looking for girls and stuff, what was, you know, uh, rock the Casbah and should I stay or should I go and things on the radio back then in the early 80s, uh, driving around with friends and singing uh, Barbara Ann at the top of our lungs, you know, um, or just, um, uh, it, it, uh, so I don't know if that makes any sense or not, but I mean, I always sort of, uh, did that. I think, uh, music in a lot of ways summed up things. Um, and I love books and movies. Um, so, but with music, you can go back to it over and over. At least I can. I mean, we've all got those songs that we liked at one time that we've heard so much so often that they've just run into the ground and become meaningless to us. And we don't really, if we never hear them again, that'd be fine. But um, then there's songs that, on the other hand, hear over and over and just never do get tired of them. And, I mean, I, I could hear you really got me. I, I don't know how many times I've heard that. I still don't get tired of it. Um, and so, like, you know, a book, I have my books that I... I'll have books that I'll go back and reread every every two or three years or whatever, or not that often, but every every few years. I have movies that I watch. Uh, I you know Animal House. I couldn't even count the number of times I've seen that movie. Every time it's on TV, I'll watch it, even if it's just the last ten or twenty minutes, or if it's at the start, I'll watch it. Bonnie and Clyde. Uh, several movies that I watch. Uh, you know at least. Uh, every year, a couple of years, but uh, unlike music, you're not going to watch Animal House every day of the week or every week, and you're not going to read a book and then turn around and read it again right away and then turn around and read it again right away again, but um, you can do that with music, at least I can, um, and it's not like I play, uh, my favorite band is the Beatles, say, I don't play them every single day but I keep going back to them and I have all my life and I don't really, anything's possible, but I don't see that changing. Um, certain albums, Piper at the Gates of Dawn by Pink Floyd, The Who Sell Out, I'll, uh, you know, I may not listen to it for six months or a year or something, but then I'll grab it again and go through a, a bout of uh, playing it over and over for a couple of several weeks or whatever. Uh, you know, I mean, I'll listen to other stuff in between there, but so I keep returning to music, something keeps pulling me back in there. I think music is, um, I don't want to get into religion or whatever, whatever people believe or don't believe, that's that's none of my uh, business, but I think music, to me anyway, is uh, one of the greatest realizations of, if you want to call it, God or something spiritual or something bigger or, or I'm thinking uh, Abraham Lincoln in his uh, Gettysburg address the you know our our uh, what does he say our better the the nature of our better angels I think I got that quote wrong but uh, which I'm, I'm not trying to get heavy or profound here but I mean I think that music is uh, something bigger or represents something, um, you know, our, our better nature if you don't believe in anything or something spiritual if you do, or the manifestation of that. I, I don't know if I'm making a bit of sense, but to me it's, uh, um, seems that way, the, be the best of, you know, best music. Uh, <laughs> So I hope I'm making a little bit of sense here. Um, and then there's, uh, I don't know, at the end it's, um, why, why do some people like baseball? This, this guy likes baseball. This guy doesn't like baseball, but he likes football and vice versa. And this guy likes both. And this guy or girl over here thinks sports is boring. It's just, uh, it, it moves me like Elvis said, and uh, who knows, I love it, uh, I think it's great, and it's been a big part of my life, and uh, one final thing is that I tend to uh, not dabble in things or just skim, if I get into something, I, for whatever reason, tend to uh, 
go the whole nine yards. Uh, so not just music, but you know, I mean, I remember being a kid. I got into dinosaurs, a little bitty kid, and and uh, found out that the Fort Worth Museum had a dinosaur exhibit. I don't know how because I mean, I was five or six or whatever. But I got, you know, I found out that, and I was on my parents. We got to go. We got to go. We got to go. And I heard that there was a. Uh, I remember documentary on dinosaurs coming up on TV might have been Mutual of Omaha's Wild Kingdom or something I don't remember but it was something like that and I was worried I was going to miss it had to see it you know um, uh, Detroit I'm I'm uh, obsessed and fascinated with Detroit I got a stack of books about Detroit and I I uh, got the two Detroit newspapers on my Facebook feed have no idea I've been to Michigan never stepped foot in Detroit um, Hurricane Katrina in New Orleans um, when I was fourth grade or so had social studies class and they started talking about uh, Antarctica which I'd never heard of I'd heard of South Pole because you know, Santa's from there but uh, I you know had to read everything I could about Antarctica so music for me uh, has been the same uh, when I got into the Beatles heavy duty had to know everything about them when I got into the Rolling Stones later same thing had to you know so I mean for whatever reason I'm a I, obsessive I guess I don't know but you know most people like music they go out and buy a few albums by the bands they like and then someone like me that has to go out and get every album and every serve I mean to the best of my ability, all the albums and singles and magazine articles and books and stuff. But I don't know. It just moves me. I love it. So I hope uh, if any of this made a lick of sense or not. But hope you have a great response to your contest, Derek. Enjoy watching your videos and hearing your point of view. Have a good one. We'll talk to you all.